Hello, hi guys. guys you welcome to my channel if you're new here hi i'm stella thank you so much for stopping by today so guys we're going to be reacting to students lose it debating ben chaperon we know who chaperon is yeah, but this is the first time we're reacting to him on the channel so guys if you're new here do not forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and let's get right into today's reaction before i ask my question so are you do you come from holocaust survivors or are you a jewish family that didn't. Uh, so my great great grandparents arrived here. A lot yeah. of our extended family was killed in the Holocaust, but but our army. Your great great not. grandparents, but not your grandparents. <laughs> right. Oh, do you have friends whose grandparents were Holocaust survivors or anything like that? Of course, that? many of them. Yeah, I've written, I've, I've helped, uh, I've helped write memoirs of Holocaust. Survivors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their families are kind of messed up, right? Uh, like. My family is very messed up. I mean, if you they, go through a trauma teach, like the Holocaust, they, I they teach that trauma between generations. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, trauma very often in a lot of circumstances is passed down. I mean, I know some kids of Holocaust survivors who are now fantastic and some who didn't. I mean, that's yeah, yeah, weird. yeah. Okay. So okay. you are officially woke. That is what wokeness is about. It's like, uh, you know, people's grandparents or their great grandparents were slaves. Well, that's okay. No, that's okay. Fuck you, I'm talking. Guys, I, want, I actually want to hear, I want, I want to hear, it's okay, it's okay, I want, I want, to, I want to hear, the, let's at least hear the argument. Let's, okay, so let's, let's hear it, let's hear it, go. What? He wants to hear me. I do want to hear it, it's fine, let him go. Let, let's hear it. Come on. I'll just, you know, so I'm ex explain Come how on. that's woke. So, I mean, the whole thing is, is like, oh, let's see. So during Silent Cal, Calvin Coolidge's administration, do you know about like the great Mississippi flood back in the 1930s? I understand that American history is filled with racial evil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that causes some intergenerational trauma, which affects people's ability to be, you okay. know, so let me, effective, let me, okay. things like that. Fine. So let me ask you a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, so if the idea is that history has consequences, of course that's true. That's not yeah, wokeness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is not wokeness. What wokeness suggests is that fundamental institutions in American society no, are so... No, it doesn't. Yes, I, it 100% does. I ran, I ran oh, Elizabeth Warren's Elizabeth campaign. Warren. I helped organize her volunteers around here. I am... I am... <laughs> With the way the student is going, meaning I think he's not saying the truth. Not saying the truth, yeah, because if, if you are known in the environment for this something, people are cheer you up. Yeah, it, when students are saying boo, like that's cap. Like, because it says like, something at the beginning of this um, stuff that um, the parent teaches and um, the trauma, right? Yeah, yeah so for true. sure they'll tell you your roots, where you're coming from. Um, that's your roots. That's your history. Yeah, right? they're not telling you to so to make... live in the past. You know, this is where you are coming from. This is how it has been. You understand? But you know the funny thing about history. Move forward. History is to show you how to learn your path, to choose between right and wrong, and to know the mistake they made in the past, and to become a better person. That's the main. That's the main, like, the benefit of history, actually. So, you picking the bad parts, so it's not learning the lesson there. So, you should go back to, you should go back to the history book and pick the right things, the right, the right lesson was supposed to learn on it. I am a representative of wokeness. Okay. Well, and that's just, I mean, this is all it is. Well, I mean, like, I mean, I, I, you know, I when, hope I, that, when uh, I went to go get my first tattoo, I, I, the guy I, I, had lightning bolts and 88s tattooed on his neck. And as a Jewish person, um, that's really messed up. It's, so it's basically a threat. There are, there are racist people who exist. The argument that you're making, and I'm gonna close with this because this is going in weird directions and I don't really no, want to- No, 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 it's not I, going I don't, in I don't really direction. want to get, no, 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 just hold up a second. Is, I, let, I let you get out your arguments and that's, now it's time for me to respond. Yeah. So I let you say Okay, I'll let you respond, but- No, 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 not but. Now's my turn. You, you are not characterizing I'm what I'm right. saying accurately. Now, now it's now it's my turn. Your your yeah. your definition. Is inaccurate. Wait. The reason your definition is inaccurate. At the point you're debating with someone, right, and it's now your turn to talk, and the person is not giving you that free space to talk. They just know you're talking to somebody else. And the, the debate is going nowhere because there's no point to prove to that person that that person will accept it. That's true, and it's that's why you see in the courts, like they allow both sides to speak. So what? When you have a debate like something an interesting topic like this and the person don't want to let you speak your own point like left me i walk away from it because there's no point no, he came to, i think he came for a, yeah so he cannot he for his and exercising so much patience yeah, to be able like yes, to, to just keep everything. yeah to contain everything but this guy right here don't want to listen i don't want to learn he's just trying to speak but the funny part is like most things say i'm trying to like catch up with all this because it's not actually really making sense if you notice it's all it's all, it's all over the it's place it's not like 
Is that... Oh, I feel like he's overwhelmed. He have a lot to say, yeah. but he can't really put them in words. I don't know. It's for not now. like that. If you have a point, make it your point. He's trying to sound smart, actually, if you notice, but it's not hitting the point. I'm, I'm still trying to place my finger around what he's trying to say is inaccurate. The reason your definition is inaccurate is because any sentient human being would acknowledge that history has consequences. Right. But if the idea is, but that's not what wokeism is. Wokeism is a different thing. Wokeism suggests that all inequalities of today are attributable to not only historic injustices, but also continuing injustices in the now, and I've that all disparity is attributable to discrimination. Like that, but a not just that. Not a just conservative that. is the not only person. Not just I want to know why. Why is it that conservatives are the only people who define it like that? Why, Why are conservatives the okay, only people? Okay, okay, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to stop here because this is going nowhere. But What's up? I, I, we're, I'm gonna have to stop with this with you because this is going nowhere. All I'm going well, to say is this. So no, some, I, I just I, am I, trying I, to I, understand I your perspective. On a, just one more second. On a, it's, on you a, say on a, on a fundamental on a, a fundamental level, you're shifting definitions to avoid the consequences correct? of your own argument. And if the idea is. And, fi and, and final point, speech. and final this point, and final point, if I you are going you to, hold on, warrior. if you are also, also, just final point to sum up there. Final well, point to sum up. I can follow that. Yeah, but, uh, one more, I just want to make, honestly, I want to make one final point to sum up there. If the idea is that traumas of the past invariably bleed down into the present, that does not explain why certain groups that have been historically not only marginalized but slaughtered in mass genocide are some of the most successful groups in our society. So if the idea is... If the idea is that past trauma always equals current inequality, or that my actions in, say, robbing a convenience store are attributable to bad actions that happened in Alabama in 1930, the answer to that is no. Don't rob the convenience store. The only way they are going to be able to break the chain of history is to make good decisions. What, what people on the left don't like to talk about is actual solutions. What they like to do is bitch about problems that existed 60 years ago and blame those for failures to solve them now. So I feel like I feel like this guy has a problem communicating his intentions or probably is so overwhelmed and full with questions that he cannot really place it as he's supposed to to bring out a reply or probably he's just asking questions but he does not want any reply like he's just making a statement I don't know but I think our link was the part of him just asking questions don't want a reply like it's not i don't think he's trying to ask the question seeking for answer he's trying to be like this is my point aha uh -huh, believe it that's the way the whole conversation feels like but he didn't want to give the answer so i'm not trying to like hit on the guy or something yeah. but for the fact that he didn't want to let the other person speak then, it's like that when you make an argument with someone the person not giving the other person the opportunity the other person not trying to learn he's just trying to tell you what he knows so i'll say that's what it was and yeah and that was really really and i really like his response though it was still calm it wasn't his composure was still the same he was trying to see understand patient. the guy was patient so people don't have that level of patience. they were like okay i don't i don't understand what this is next so. please next please but i was still trying to understand the guy's point i was still trying to feel with the guy uh, and he really tried to exercise so much patience like i mean so much patience okay. in this speech I think and him saying it was like if you believe in the issue of the bass but that's how he puts it but say it was woke it's been woke i i can't remember the way he actually replied to that but that was i like the way he gave that reply because yeah, I mean, you actually knowing something doesn't mean you're woke like there's some facts you need to agree on to be woke actually yeah so the fact i know this doesn't mean i'm woke but the fact i know this and i believe in it and i think it's right that was actually what's making me woke and he was trying to say the fact you know this it was like ha ah, you know this and you accept this you're woke and he was like no i'm not woke i know it but i'm not like accepting the father like this I like that that reply was actually very nice too. I uh, think this video is kind of so I say educative. It is actually it's, it's actually educative. It's an educative video. So seeing debates, I like debates videos like this. Yeah, both parties like speak. Speak. This very something. nice. So guys, thank you so much for watching to this time. Do not forget to like, subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell notification button to get notified whenever I post a new video. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye guys.